today we'll demonstrate it at about 2 kW or 2, 2.1, 2.2, somewhere in that range. Okay, well let's go ahead and start it up. Okay. Starting it up, we'll plug it in. We make sure everything looks alright, there's nothing loose, nothing uh, messed up, and there as I can perceive, everything looks like it's, it's supposed to be. And So basically, uh, it is running itself now. Uh, yeah, let me make sure. It's, it's running a little faster, I think. I don't know if you can tell that or not. So the power must be a little bit different. But we keep it pretty close. That's supposed to be exactly, when I looked at it on the scope, it would be exactly the same as what's coming out of uh, the wall uh, as far as 60 cycles and the right voltage. What happens is the power input changes so depending on the time of the day. The power comes from the power cup and it changes in voltage. It actually goes up and down. Some days it'll be 150. Nope, I think that's good. I didn't hear any uh, slowdown of the motor. I heard a slight one. On the third bolt or the fourth or fifth bolt, we were playing back. It was, at least it sounded like it to me. Uh, it wasn't a slowdown, it was actually a, uh, a mellowing out, a little smoother. It sounded a little smoother. We played back the video and we were listening to it again. But, you know, maybe I heard a slight one. Maybe I'm going to have to put it in there again. Okay, I'm going to uh, basically just uh, pan across the machine here.
focusing in on the factory, they're focusing in on uh, getting these things mass produced. So uh, what we've got here is a self-running generator. Uh, it's basically providing over 2,000 watts. Uh, this will run indefinitely without fuel. Uh, anything, it runs until the parts run out, wear out. When you say indefinitely, yeah, it, that's true. It is indefinitely, but indefinitely means basically until the parts wear out. For instance, moving parts would yeah, wear out. Moving parts and solid state parts wear out. Uh, televisions go bad, uh, computers go bad, they're all solid state, they still go bad. Uh, there's still parts to wear out. Cell phones go bad, you know, different things. Okay, so really the. Uh, um, the really special part of this uh, technology is the, uh, the rotating generator in this machine and the, uh, you might talk just a little bit about uh, uh, why that's special and what makes it that uh, uh, your ministry has been able to uh, uh, make such a, a small generator put out this amount of power. Special? Yeah, why it's special and what, what the technology is that's actually... A little bit about the technology? Okay, basically there's many types of subatomic particles and it's the way we... It's the way you make those particles and the way you establish them as to whether or not you get over unity. There's, there's over a hundred types of subatomic particles defined now and uh, everybody used to think that the only thing that flowed through wires was electrons. Well, that's not true. Nowadays, quantum physics realizes there's many types of subatomic particles. And depending on what those particles are, which ones you have, in which places, and which vibrations you have, in other words, frequencies in which places, and uh, what the power levels are, and how they're arranged with each other, and where the standing fields are, uh, that all has to do with how it works. If you get it right, well, basically, by different combinations of those things, you can do anything you can imagine, uh, including space travel and everything else, teleportation and all that. But uh, basically, the simplest, one of the simplest ones would make energy, and that's what we're focusing in on here. Okay, and uh, with this with this device, uh, that's a standard uh, variable transformer that you adjust the speed of the motor with. Yeah, that's a standard motor too. Standard motor, standard belt drive and a standard load of uh, regular incandescent light bulbs. So uh, the, real, uh, the real technology is, is in the generator and how it's, uh, how it's built and how it works.